we're here to give you a brief overview and run through of the PS1 XL. We'd assume at this stage that you've already part assembled the PS1 XL, four bolts at the bottom and four bolts at the top. They're assembled by either using the M8 bolt or the M8 thumb bolts, which simply insert into the top of the unit and they go through into the threaded receiving part, which is fixed into the top and bottom plates. These should be affixed firmly into place, but do not over tighten, causing damage to the unit. The supplied brace support bars will give extra support when used at extended heights, simply fitted to the top and bottom of the PS1 as shown. To adjust the height of the unit, simply pull out the spring loading mechanism on all four legs as shown. Once these are in the open position, you simply adjust the PS1 to the height that you require. Drop one pin into place, move so it fits the locator. The other pins are then located back into position and the PS1 is ready to use. The supplied non-slip foam pads can be attached to the top plate of the stand. Simply remove the protective backing and affix onto the top plate. This is useful for large lighting effects or speakers placed on the stand. We also supply a 35mm pole mount top hat adapter for placing larger speakers onto the PS1 XL. You place the adapter over the hole in the top plate and use either the thumb bolt or you can use the standard M8 bolt to fix into position. To ensure the PS1 XL is as versatile as possible, both white and black scrims are included within the package. These are pre-treated and are fire retardant. You can wipe, hand or machine wash your scrims, but they must be retreated with a fire retardant treatment afterwards. Cutouts are at the bottom and also at the top of the PS1 XL for carrying. The top cutout also has a dual purpose. You can use the included hook and loop ties for cable management and attach DMX and power cables along the back part of the frame and up through the top cutout for a neat and tidy solution for your cables. At the end of your event, you pat down the unit by releasing the four spring-loaded pins and lowering to its minimum height, and lock back into position. You then have the option to transport the unit complete using the cutout handles or by the middle part of the frame. Alternatively, you can remove the bolts from the top and bottom plates and pack away using the supplied bags.